Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's Deloitte. So we talked about pretty much for the last couple of months how I believe Paul George will end up playing somewhere else other than the LA Clippers this upcoming season. I looked at the salary and really the obstacles that the Clippers are going to have to overcome, right? They are not in a good financial situation. They will probably be a second apron team, and they're going to be very strapped for cash. But Paul George, you would assume, will garner a max contract. But what we've been hearing is the Clippers have not been willing to give Paul George that max deal, and they've been trying to negotiate. He feels he's a max guy. They're not trying to give him that contract, and that's where the two sides are not seeing eye to eye now according to brian windhorse on the P brian uh, pat mcafee show it seems like they are still pretty far apart when it comes to getting a deal done now this is interesting like i said when you look at the clippers and you look at really what they're going to try to do this offseason trying to keep this team together or try to get better in any meaningful ways it's going to be extremely difficult they have an older roster of which everybody's going to make sure they still command money. You may see Russell Westbrook leave. We're hearing the Miami Heat as a top destination for a Russell Westbrook. Kawhi Leonard, of course, he got the big contract, and now it's time to take care of Paul George, and I just simply do not see it happening. Why they won't just go all in and give him the max money, I'm not sure. I know it has to do with tax money at the end of the day, but I don't understand why paul george has been out of the two out of between Kawhi and paul george he's your most consistent he plays more games he shows up more often and yes playoff p has made his fair share of appearances where it was pandemic p he did not look that good but i still think that should be the guy that should have been taken care of even over a Kawhi leonard and that really pains me to say because i love Kawhi and his game but at the end of the day paul george to me should have been the guy that should have got the contract now with that said where can we look at potential destinations for paul george if he's able to leave and the real reason i think he will is because you look at east you look at the east the east is a weaker conference as a whole we know boston is looking good in the nba finals but as a whole the east is considered the weaker of the two conferences you look at a team like the Philadelphia 76ers. Interesting, right? They have a dominant big man in Joel Embiid. Yes, he goes through his injuries as well, but we know how good he is. You have young guys like Maxi on that team as well. What do you need if you're Philly? If you could get a, a wing guy who could score, who could still defend, not as elite level that like he did a couple years ago, but still at a very good level, you don't need him to carry the, the torch. We know Paul George and his personality. He's okay with not being the number one option. So now you're saying you're the number two. Some games of Max, he's feeling it. You're the number three. I think he could fall into that type of role. He does not have that selfishness in him where he needs to get up all the shots in the world. He could space the floor. He could shoot he could defend and they have the money for it that is the big thing with philadelphia they have the money to go and try to get a star player they're in an attractive situation where i think players will want to go over there and that's why i believe paul george ultimately ends up in philly but can can la keep him if they wanted to so you look at how they're situated again they look like they'll probably be a tier two team. You have to figure out what they're going to do with James Harden. You would assume they're going to try to keep James Harden as well. So if you keep James Harden, bam, just like that, you give him 40 plus million dollars a year. Maybe you give him 30 million dollars a year. I mean, pretty much any contract over 30 million, you're you're in the second April. So you really can't do much when it comes to flexibility, unless you trade Norman Powell, unless you get rid of PJ Tucker. But I don't think anybody will take pj tucker at 11 and a half million dollars with how he just played i don't think anybody's doing that unless you include another player or other draft assets with it who else are you moving terrence man could be moved to potentially give you some cap relief but you don't really have a lot of options as the players that you can move that have value paul george wants the money at the end of the day i think he deserves it he wants the money the money may not be there in LA. So I think Philly is ultimately the option for Paul George. But we will see. We will see how everything turns out. It's interesting just to see this whole dynamic play out. Of course, the finals should probably get uh, <laughs> finished quite soon. I think Boston now is, is 
hands down going to win it. So the final should be done soon, which means we're going to turn our attention to the NBA draft in a few weeks. And then, of course, everybody's favorite time, free agency, and we'll see the fireworks begin. But I think Paul George very well could be a Philadelphia 76 er That's my prediction. But I think between him and L.A., it is tricky for whatever reason. If it wasn't, they would have been had a deal done. But here we are, man. So you guys let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section below. Where do you think Paul George will be playing basketball next season? Do you think he returns to the Clippers? Do you think he goes to Philly? He goes to another team? Let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions. As usual, hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, please do me a favor. Go ahead and leave this video a like. It helps me out a lot. And subscribe if you haven't already. It's D. Lord. I'm see you next time. Peace.